not going to be carrying around an empty backpack. You're probably going to have some books with you. These are hard-sided coffee table books. We're going to put a couple of those in this main chamber right here next to the uh, next to the ballistic panel and zip them up and see if that doesn't add some more ballistic protection. Probably the books will do more work than that panel will uh, by the time the round flies through it. So take a look. Okay, 12-gauge slug with books. I'm ready. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, that's recoil. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Slugs impact right there and the wadding. So pretty decent little thump. That's not that nice enough. Dug in right there. All the way through that panel. Whoa. Right through Oprah. Destroyed these books, plowed right through them, made a bunch of confetti, and there's your polymer true ball. <laughs> That's all just paper. Did, it, did it, the slug go through the books? Uh, the slug went through the books. Okay, so it must be in that plate. Yeah, that's what I was going for next. You can show down in here, there's just a bunch of paper confetti from the books. Gnarly hole right there. Wow. And then into this plate. I think it's stuck in there, isn't it? I think that's... Did it go that, through, that, though? That's, that's the million-dollar question. Oh, no. Did not go through. It would hurt. It'd be so, like a kick in the... Make sure you buy a couple of Oprah books and take them with you, but uh, you're good to go, because that is the smashed-up lid <laughs> from the true ball round. Golly. With a little help from Oprah, this thing stopped a yeah, one-ounce slug. Wow.